welcome to my Vlogmas Day 4 Christmas Countdown. And I'm here today bringing you a wonderful cup of coffee. Today's coffee is Maple Sugar Shack. Maple Sugar Shack. And let's see. Oh, again, a yummy one. You guys, I'm so enjoying these coffee of the day things. I'm definitely doing it again next year. And if they come up with other ones for different seasons, I am all in. I am loving the different flavors and uh, fun coffee pods every day. I think that's a really, really, really good decision that I made. The inspiration or quote that came with my day four coffee is whatever you decide to do, make sure it makes you happy. And that could be my, my mantra when it comes to stitching. Whatever I decide to do, make sure it makes you happy because that is how I like to stitch. So here are all my quotes. Um, I'm really glad I did this, uh, keeping all the stickers for the quotes um, for the, each coffee pod. Um, but yes, isn't that why we're all here to stitch because it makes us happy? I know it makes me happy. So let's jump right in. Yesterday we had a tie with the uh, projects uh, that we voted on and the projects were um, QS Sapphire and, I'll put it in the order that I talk about them, QS Sapphire and Mini uh, Avarice. And even though my uh, challenge for the day was to take a break and watch a Christmas movie, I did that. Uh, I enjoyed a lovely, lighthearted Hallmark rom-com and uh, those are my favorite type because you know it's going to be a happy ending, you don't have to worry about any drama, you know that everything is going to be all good at the end of the movie and that's the kind of movies I like to watch during this season. So, uh, but I did want to put some work in on these projects because they deserve a little bit of love. So let me show you one at a time. Okay, so here is QS Sapphire. I managed to get in, let me put that one back here for a second. I managed to fill in some of the background here. Between the two of them, I got in just over 400 stitches because that's my goal whenever I pick a project is to get anywhere between 400 and 500. Lately, it's been more just 400, but since I had the two projects to work on and I had a lot of stuff going on yesterday, um, I'm happy that I was able to touch both of them. So between the two of them, I think I got a little bit more on, a, on um, Sapphire than Avarice, but I filled in a little bit of the background before her hair starts and then a little bit more of the blue background here. And then I switched and I put Avarice on the uh, Q-snap and I filled in a little bit more. There were some gaps in this diagonal and then I started filling in the next diagonal. So I got just uh, maybe about 150 stitches in this one, but maybe about I don't know, combined total of both of them, I know I counted it yesterday, was uh, just over 400 stitches, so I'm happy with that. Um, let's see, then next we go on to my day four, look at the cute packaging, day four uh, gift from my friends, and let's see what we got. Okay, I almost don't want to rip the bag open. Let's see if I can get this knot out. There we go. So thank you, my friend, who packaged it so lovely. All right, got some more tissue paper in here. So let's open it up. Oh, be careful that it doesn't fall. Oh, you guys. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, first, let's start with this darling gift here. These are the coolest pair of scissors. Okay, I've never actually owned one, so I'm not entirely sure how to make sure that they work, but, and it's rose gold. That is like my favorite metal. Okay, so I think we're gonna pull them aside. And they pop open. Aha, there we go. I've got some snippy, snippy scissors to use. Thank you so much. These ones, I can tell you, uh, were from Patty. She's part of uh, my, my uh, group of friends, and she has her own floss tube channel, and I believe she is also doing um, fl uh, Vlogmas or Flossmas, uh, so you can check her out. She's four boys and an NL girl. She's also the one who uh, did the Christmas Joy Sal um, that I spoke about earlier. So I'm going to enjoy these scissors. 
think I have to get the knack of putting them in and out so I don't want to force it because I'm sure so that's gonna be lovely now the second part of her little gift was some tea so this is from the Newfoundland tea company premium organic teas and this is called plum pudding it has black tea cornflower petals raspberry pieces red plum petals blueberry pieces and natural flavors so I'm usually not a tea drinker as we all know I'm a coffee drinker but I am willing to try that one out and um, see what it tastes like I'm pretty sure I have um, the right instruments to make a tea with some loose tea I'll have to uh, figure that out but I don't think that should be a problem and so thank you very much Patty I'm gonna have fun with that and thank you for my scissors really though maybe I should just keep them like this because I can't really I'm gonna have to figure out how to get them back into their original position but I don't want to force it so when I have time I'm gonna go that but here so nice on to the stitching portion um, so the two projects that I posted yesterday for me to stitch for today for day four was Ayana and Golden Promises. So now Golden Promises and Ayana. I have to say with this poll, uh, for the majority of the time and almost all the time, uh, Golden Promises was in the lead and in fact won the poll. So I will be stitching on Ayana today and I am thrilled about that because I love getting back to her and the best part is I'm done all the background. Now I get to get to the fun stuff, so that'll be what I'll be doing today. Let's see what the challenge is. I really hope it lets me work on the project and doesn't give me another break, but then I'll probably still pick up pick it up anyway. Okay, all right. It is a stitching challenge. I can see the word stitch. Okay, this might be a bit of a challenge with this one, but let's see how I can make it work. Okay, so it says, Stitch using a checkerboard pattern. So that means in blocks of 10, I'm going to stitch, let's say I had a block of 10 here, then the next one I'm going to be stitching here, and then here, and then here. So you stitch in a block of checkerboard pattern. So I think what I might have to do, because I'm not sure if it'll, it might still work with this, I might just do it anyway. But basically, you're sticking. If you were looking at a checkerboard, uh, the red and black pieces, you would either be stitching all the black spots or all the red spots. That's what it means by st stitching in a checkerboard pattern. I picked this as one of my challenges because it was maybe two or three years ago. Uh, Heaven on Earth had a a challenge like this, and they would come up with different challenges. And the purpose of stitching it in this style. Uh, I believe was just to give us peaks and pockets of the pattern as we were stitching along. So we'll see how that works out when I show you my results tomorrow, if I liked stitching like that, if I did not. Um, but it is going to be a challenge, and but I think it'll still be fun. So that's the point of all this, is to give me uh, a little bit of challenge at the end of the year with all these uh, vlogmases. And I hope that you are enjoying along as well. I'm really enjoying all your comments and I'm glad you're having fun voting along and helping me choose which project to pick. Oh, I just realized I didn't turn on the Christmas lights, but that's okay, it's bright enough, it's still Christmas. Um, so thank you again for joining me here today. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. I'm gonna go enjoy my coffee.